Okay, got um, Charlie in. I've been working with Charlie for five years, fifth season, fourth season, fifth. It's about five years. Um, Charlie's a dual athlete, so a lot of his stuff is remote. He's based in the northeast, but he gets down about once a month um, just to check in, kind of go through a few things with the training block. Uh, obviously, this season has been scuppered on the indoor side of things with COVID and a lot of cancellations of competitions, but uh, we've trained well all the way through the year and now we're just putting plans in place to make a run at the uh, Tokyo Olympics for next year. Today we're just going to go through, it's more of his dynamic session, so we've got a little bit of plyo, intensive plyo work, a little bit of, bit, bit of dynamic work through uh, push motion and some posterior chain stuff, uh, and then just some trunk capacity to finish up. So not loads of volumes, keeping the quality high. I want contact time over flight time. So just nice little toes up, not bothered about how much time in the air, I just want as little time on the floor as possible. Just through to the floor. Hips please, mate. So just light, bouncy, please. Good. Excellent, good, and relax, good. Uh, backwards for me. Um, th reduce the contacts by about 50%, so cover a little bit more ground, that makes sense. So rather than me fitting like three in that space, so when, you, when you're going back, just allow yourself to kind of project a little bit more. Okay, you should be fitting about 10 contacts between there. There we go, good. Perfect, that's good mate, nice and springy, good. Excellent, relax. Yeah, so stick on the one, stick on the two, stick on the three. Nice and tall, one, good. Excellent, walk back. How much force can we get out from here to here, not trying to sneak this knee up to get bigger range? There we go, good. So get yourself stable, almost lean over the plate to start with and kind of think how much force can we generate between here and here. Knee's not going to be up at the hip, it's going to be kind of 45 like power angle. Yeah, so I want you to hover there for a second, make sure you're stable, then it's... Composition for a split second longer. Good, and then down, there we go. At the top, good, better. I don't want you to like let go and drop, but I want you to deliberately try and accelerate into the bottom position, slam the brakes, hold stable there for two or three seconds, whip it back through. Good, shifting it right back. Good, one. Good, and squeeze forward. Good, really. Great. And squeeze. There we go, last one. Turn, turn, make that. Aggressive on the opposite side. Good, feet squeeze to the floor. Pull, take a second. Good mate, two more. Control, aggressive. Come on. Good, quicker on the way up. Okay. And throw the bar at me. Come on, up, 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 up. Nice, good back, relax. Good. Oh, come.
there you go, better. Little pause and then small on the way back, good. Two, five reps, take your time. So no extension through the spine and as little rotation as possible. So screw both feet into the floor. Excellent, mate, there's four, come on, one more. Nice, good. And then lay flat, skydivers, hold, and then down, good. 